Are you having to play connected to the charger because your Steam Deck no longer holds a charge? No worries, today we'll show you how to replace the battery in your Steam Deck. For this repair you'll need the following tools. A Philips 1 driver, a Philips 0 driver, a set of iFixit opening picks, tweezers, a spudger, scissors, plastic cards, and a heat gun. We also recommend using our fix mat so you stay organized throughout the repair. You'll also need your replacement battery and battery adhesive. All these tools and parts will be linked in the description below. Before you begin your repair, make sure to fully discharge your battery, as a charged lithium ion battery can be dangerous if accidentally punctured. As an extra precaution, Valve recommends pushing your Steam Deck into battery storage mode before starting any repairs. To do this, power down your Steam Deck and then hold the volume up button and then press the power button. Once BIOS mode has started up, use the D-pad to navigate to Setup Utility and the Power menu, and then select Battery Storage Mode and select Yes. Your Steam Deck should power down. One last thing, if you have a micro SD card installed, make sure to remove it before opening the Steam Deck. If you attempt to remove the back cover with it still installed, it could snap right in half. Alright, let's get down to business. First up, remove the 8 Phillips screws securing the back cover to the Steam Deck. Use an opening pick and slide it into the thin gap between the back cover and the front shell, along the edge of the right grip. If you encounter any difficulty, try starting from the top or bottom edges and then work your way towards the grip. With a little gentle prying, you'll free the back cover from those locking clips. The back cover should lift off. Oh, and one important note, if you have a newer Steam Deck version with a black motherboard cover, skip the next step and proceed directly to the following ones. If your Steam Deck has a silver motherboard cover, use a pair of tweezers to gently remove the piece of foil tape covering a screw. If possible, try not to damage the tape as we might need it later. Next up, remove the three screws securing the board shield. If you have a black motherboard shield, you'll only need to remove two screws. With the board shield out of the way, it's time to disconnect the battery cable. If you can, gently pull it away from the motherboard using the pull tab. If that doesn't work, try using the flat end of your spudger. Now use the pointed edge of your spudger to lift the lock on the audio cable ZIF connector and use a pair of tweezers to grab the pull tab of the cable and slide it out. The copper colored audio cable is held in place by light adhesive. Peel it off the battery, being careful not to tear it or the cable underneath. If you have the refreshed version of the Steam Deck, you won't have this cable. Move on to the next step. Using the pointed edge of your spudger, lift the locking flap on the button board cable ZIF connector and use tweezers to slide the cable out of its connector by its blue pull tab. Carefully peel the button board cable off the battery and move it to the side. In order to slice the adhesive through two small slits near the bottom of the battery, we need two thin plastic cards. Use a pair of scissors to cut a plastic card in half long ways. Make sure to round off any sharp edges as they can puncture the battery. The battery in the Steam Deck is strongly adhered so we have to use constant and steady force. Heating a charged battery is a fire hazard. Make sure you've completely discharged your battery before starting this step. Start by using a heat gun to heat the adhesive under the battery for about 1-2 to two minutes. Try your best not to overheat the battery. Maintain a distance of around 2 inches above the battery and heat in a circular motion to avoid overheating a single area. Grab a plastic card and insert it between the frame and the top edge of the battery, and then insert a second plastic card between the frame and the right edge of the battery. Insert one of the cut plastic cards under the battery near the bottom right edge. Push the card in to slice the adhesive and wiggle it side to side as you go. You'll need to repeatedly reheat the adhesive to further soften it throughout this process. Grab the second cut plastic card and insert it under the battery near the bottom left edge. Again, wiggle it as you go to slice the adhesive. Insert another plastic card along the bottom edge of the battery so you can start prying the battery away from the frame. The battery should lift up and out. The adhesive under the battery is very strong. You may need to repeat the heating and prying process multiple times. Go slow and take your time. Be sure to never reuse a battery that's been removed since it can be a potential safety hazard. For reassembly, dampen the lint-free cloth with isopropyl alcohol and clean the battery well to remove any leftover adhesive. Do not apply alcohol directly to the battery well as this might damage the panel sitting underneath. Next, grab your battery and remove the liners on the adhesive and lay them on the battery.
Once applied, lay the battery in the Steam Deck and press it firmly down into place. Go ahead and reconnect both the audio and button board cables back into place. We can now connect the battery and depending on which Steam Deck version you have, lay the silver shield or black shield back over the motherboard and screw it back in place. Gently lay the fan cable to the side, making sure it's free from any potential tangling. Carefully align the long edges of the back cover with the device and press down gently on the back cover to engage those locking clips. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and tighten up the 8 screws that hold the back cover in place. Remember to find the perfect fit for each one. The innermost four screws are shorter than the outer screws. Now just make sure to plug your Steam Deck in to get it out of the storage mode. That's it, you've done it! Your Steam Deck is now reassembled and ready to take on the gaming world once again.